Hi, I'm Chris Davis from Slash Gear, and this is the LG G Flex. It's the company's first curved Android smartphone. It uses a six inch flexible OLED panel that allows it to achieve this gently curved profile. And inside you get a curved battery as well, along with all of the other features you might expect from a top end flagship handset. So there's a 13 megapixel camera, for instance. It's not a small phone, but that gets you one of the biggest displays on a smartphone around today. 6 inch isn't using LG's flexible OLED technology, it means the phone can have a gentle curve to it, apparently decided by market research from over 300 prototypes. The end result is something that fits a little better to your face and your hand, although perhaps not so much in your pocket. It might not fold up like a concept tablet, but it can stand some fairly rough treatment. LG has given the rear panel a special scratch healing coating which works well at shaking off light scrapes should the G-Flex share a pocket with your keys, while the phone itself can even temporarily flatten out should you accidentally sit on it. On the back, the controls from the G2 have made a reappearance, arguably making more sense given the oversized nature of the G-Flex, but the G2's full HD resolution hasn't been carried over. Instead, LG opted for a 720p panel, which, though bright and offering accurate colours, lacks the superlative outdoor visibility and overall clarity of Nokia's Lumia 1520. LG's conceit is that the G Flex is easier to use, since your thumb can more naturally sweep from top to bottom. In practice, we found it a little more practical one handed than other fablets, but still a stretch in everyday use. Typing is a particular pleasure, though, your thumb is slipping across the shallow bow easily. Flip the G-Flex around meanwhile, and it becomes a tiny sibling of LG's curved OLED TV range, complete with a gimmicky but cute media launcher. Otherwise, the software is largely carried over from the G2, including a comprehensive camera app with multiple scene modes. One enhancement from the G-Flex is a special selfies mode, which blinks the rear LED when your face is properly framed. The other big advantage of a big phone is battery life, and the G-Flex doesn't disappoint there. We managed two full days of heavy use on a single charge from a 3500mAh battery. So that's the LG G Flex, and the question remains, does the world really need a curved smartphone? Now LG is very clear that this is the beginning of the journey, not the end point, and it envisages a world where truly flexible devices are possible, including tablets that can fold down and fit in your pocket. That's still 10 years out, however, or maybe more, which leaves the G Flex today as something of a curio, a gimmick perhaps, albeit a gimmick with some appealing features. It's not for the mass market then, and you have to have particularly deep pockets if you want to buy it today, but it's an area and a segment and a type of technology which we'll be watching with great interest. Thanks very much for watching.